Hey there, my fellow intellectuals. How are you doing today? It is May 5th, 2020 at approximately 3.37 p.m. in the afternoon. And in about 24 hours, I will have concluded my PhD, uh, advancement to PhD candidacy exam. So I, some of you know that that's the exam where I have to sort of pitch my PhD research over the next couple of years to a committee of five professors and they have to sort of question me on it and talk about its legitimacy. And um, yeah, I thought I'd just talk the day before, sort of spill my thoughts out on camera before I take it. Um, in terms of how I'm feeling, uh, I, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little bit nervous uh, as I think anyone probably would be in this situation. I have uh, made a presentation, it's about 45 minutes long. I've rehearsed it about five times so far in the past couple of days with revisions each time I do it. So I think I'll probably give it another one or two more run throughs before tomorrow. Um, and, uh, and yeah, just accept that's pretty much all I can do realistically until tomorrow afternoon. Um, Gosh, I'm so nervous. Like I, I um, I have been thinking about this for a while. I've been trying to just put my head down and just work and try and be productive in other uh, facets of my research. But to say that I, I'm not nervous for this exam and to say it's not uh, been on my mind would be a lie. It'd be a flat out lie because it's uh, it's a big thing. It's a really big thing. Um, I have not really heard too much about the statistics of the exam, the statistics of the exam, you know, if, um, in terms of like pass rail, pass rail, pass fail rate, um, of this, uh, exam from what I hear people say, yeah, most people will pass it. There's occasionally people who don't, you know, every now and then, which it doesn't make me feel much better. I mean, it's just like, okay, I, yeah, I just don't want to be part of that, that, that fraction that doesn't pass, you know? Um, but to be perfectly honest, I feel fairly confident. I have been doing this research, well, my phone went off. I've been doing this research for, um, you know, two years now. I have, um, I think I've learned a lot. I have been able to go to a conference and present my research. I've been able to go to uh, multiple different workshops, sort of augmenting my overall knowledge in the subject. And I feel like I have really uh, developed a framework in my PhD that will be useful um, to everyone in the field, it'll be a it'll be a big contribution to the field at large. So, I think all of that considered should um, should mean I'm I'm as prepared as I possibly can be for the exam. But still, it just it just feels very um, overwhelming. Not gonna like feels a bit overwhelming, and um, I just uh, hope to get through it in one piece. So. I think that's all I'm going to say for now. I just wanted to get a lot of these stressful thoughts off my chest and into a camera and so I can look at it for future posterity and hopefully laugh at it, hopefully. And, uh, you know, this will just be something uh, in the past once once this, all this is over. So thank you guys again for understanding. I know I haven't been making a lot of videos for the past couple of weeks because of this exam. It's really just taken up a huge portion of my time these days in quarantine and I I just feel that uh, I really needed to pri prioritize prioritize this sorry um, above all else except for of course the basic necessities like sleeping and eating and seeing my loved ones of course but yeah I mean it's a big day tomorrow there is no doubt about it so here we go Hey everybody, it is about 2.35 on May 6th. I've just had my advancement to PhD candidacy exam and I passed. Yes, right. I passed. I can't believe it, guys. Like, I'm I'm just like so happy right now. I, I can't even contain it. I'm, I wanted to sort of give you guys a poker face, but I, I don't think I did because I just, I'm so happy. Like, I, I passed. I... Oh my gosh. That was a very stressful situation. Um, though maybe not as stressful as I had envisioned. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be in the moment. But I sort of... My brain just kind of went into, like, fight or flight mode, right? I just was fighting off questions, which were not even that hard. But I guess my, my, my brain was wired for 
really intense questions that were going to chip away at my my research. Um, but that didn't really come, I'd say. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm just I'm just feeling raw emotion right now. I'm just feeling like like I'm on cloud nine, and that I'm just. I'm, my head's in the clouds, I'm just I'm so happy. <laughs> I've been stressing out about this for months, guys, and I passed. It's over. I'm, I'm a PhD candidate now. That's crazy. I'm not just a PhD student. I'm not just a graduate student. I'm a PhD candidate. I, I am eligible for a PhD in the next few years. That is mind-boggling to me. Oh, my God. <sighs> I just want to say, you know, thank you guys for being there helping me out uh, with, with studying and stuff for the past couple of weeks. I know I haven't made a video in a while, and this is going to be a very short one because I want to go out and celebrate. But just thank you again for all your support, everyone who was encouraging me through social media, who was wishing me good luck. It really meant a lot to me, and it's it feels so great to be able to share this moment with you guys. I'm just I'm just through the roof right now. I really, really am. I, I'm, <laughs> I just can't find the words. Um, I'm going to go... Uh, get some food, probably gonna treat myself to whatever I want right now. I know we're in this quarantine area, I'm just gonna get some takeout or something, but uh, I think I need to celebrate. Like, this is this is a momentous occasion. So, thank you again for um, supporting this channel, supporting my videos, uh, and supporting the content that I produce. And now that I've passed my Advancement to PhD candidacy exam, I'm sort of free to do more stuff now um, and expand my horizons a little bit more. And I can I can sort of stop thinking so hard about this one thing for, the, for the foreseeable future. Of course, I still have to focus on it because it's my PhD research. I have to get back to it. But for now, I just want to enjoy the moment of passing, and uh, I'll go and do that. So, yes, I will see you guys in the near future. Thank you guys so much. I'm Kyle Kebaseris, and I'm out. <laughs>